First thing we had to do was find the right car. We actually found this Rover SD 13500, which is the ideal choice. Not too big, not too small. Hopefully gives us enough power to set a good land speed record. The first task was to strip the car out, completely remove everything, and lose as much weight as possible. Obviously once we started building the gas fire and putting this into the car we were going to start adding considerable weight because the majority of it is quite heavy steel. Once we'd stripped everything out of the vehicle we'd managed to lose about 250 kilos which was great news since we're going to be putting so much steel work in here when we put the gasifier in. We then prepped it for spraying and give it a nice spray job from matte black. We then fitted clocks and dials so that we could monitor the RPM, the temperature, the battery power which is really important when running a gasifier. We then built the gasifier and we made it so that we could take the whole thing to bits, take the fire tube out, bottom grate out and fully dismantle it for cleaning. Here we are with Coffee Car Mark 2. With our first coffee car the challenge set was to build a car that actually ran on a used waste product. So we built one to run on coffee and the challenge was to drive from London to Manchester to the Science Festival in Manchester. With this coffee car we've built it for speed. So we're aiming at setting a land speed record using the gasifier and running on coffee. With the Mark II gasifier we've redesigned it to give us a high yield of gas to run the straight six engine in this SD1. At the cool end of the system we used silicon hose and stainless steel tube. We've also fitted two valves so that we can turn off the gas going to the carburettors for when we're priming the system. You see the cooler fitted there and um, later on we have fitted two 12 volt fans to that to aid in the cooling process. We've also got full control of the electrics, intake fan, um, pressure fan for priming the system. The easiest way I've found to get the gas fire going is to put some charcoal in or some kindling set that on fire, especially with this closed system because we're going to put a lid on it and force the air through it's to get a really hot fire going first once we've got a really hot fire we can start adding the coffee pellets um, and once they've started burning we'll then put the lid on and start up the fan which will actually force the air through to get a really hot fire going Well that's the car just about finished, just a few small jobs to do. We've got our first test date on the 10th of August, 
and we've got the final challenge date on the 14th of September. So keep an eye out on the website coffeecar.org and we'll keep you up to date with how things are going and upload more videos.